While designing a process at eFlow Designer, uh, I want uh, the users enter minimum manual data. So I have a tool for setting some data. Uh, this is the calculate tool. I drag and drop this tool. Honestly, at eFlow, uh, if a process uh, doesn't have any calculate tool, I won't call it a process because uh, using this calculate tool is so efficient. So, for example, in order to set some data elements, let's say the requester, uh, I will use the formula window. I have functions here, or you can use C sharp posts. Uh, for example, for requester, I have a function, we call it initiator, the same function that we use already at Excel. So, this initiator function will just set. The requester of this process and I write to the description set requester I can just copy and paste this tool and this time let's set the date of request for example let's set the date and let's use another function let's use now function uh, now function will show the date of today when I start a process and I can also drag and drop another tool and I can set the another data element request number and I select the request number and for this I use so often another function instance id so instance id will give a unique number for this process okay by using control i can just bring these calculate tools inside the process and at test form this time as the requester the date of request and also the request number will be set. I can select them read only. And when I save the process and when I activate this process, uh, once on, I run the process at eFlow user interface. I will see all this information set. Let's check it. Let's go to our process purchase request. Let's start the process and see the requester, the date of request, and the request number. They are set and read only. All right, let's go back to our designer. Let's see some more features.